Hello everybody. I was in the restroom a minute ago and listen. You hear that? Well, being as we have raccoons getting in our garbage, I thought they might have been a raccoon or squirrel on top of the roof. But, let me show you what it is. Yep, it's raining. Sun's out. Oh my god, feel that heat. Oh, I'm coming back in. As you see, the second I stepped out there, I immediately fogged up. Unbelievable. Okay, guys, you got it. Yep. I'm in Pal Talk, talking on an instant messenger. Yep. I usually do this from time to time. Ways at the camera. <laughs> I don't know how much of this you can see. I'm talking to Fat Cat and Empty Mustang. Well, until later, we'll talk to you then. <laughs> Videotaping me. Guys, this is my wife. <laughs> but anyway, love you, FD. I gotta go put some stuff away. Talking to our friends on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let me have the camera. I want to go show my school supplies that I've already okay, got. Okay, here. Hold it, guys. Uh, Angie's going to be taking them doing a little bit of vlogging herself. Okay. Let's see where to start. This is my medicine side. Most of that I got sales. We've got our deep shaving cream. These were on sale for like, I think it was a dollar or so. Uh, these are deodorants. I don't know if you can see them. There's, right now there's only five because I gave Elizabeth three. But, and then these are the shampoos and conditioners. There's all my body washes. Dead cool. This is my favorite though. This is what started it all. My razors. There's one, two, three, four, five, and there was a couple more, but I think we gave a couple away. This is toothpaste. Anybody needing toothpaste? We've got toothbrushes, and that's so far what I've saved. Um, price spent fifty cents to a dollar each. If that, most were less. Um, haven't really got my uh, supplies up here. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. These here, I got for like a quarter each. I was really happy with that one. Okay, and that's that's my stockpile in there. Now, we're on to my school supplies that I started last week. Okay, and this is where I keep my school supplies. This is actually inside my closet. These are all loose leaf notebook paper. This is the folders. He's got the stupid metal thingies. I don't like those. We've got a couple of uh, sheet protectors. I got 50 cents each. These I got for 99 cents each. All these pencils, 20 cents each. A whole bunches of pencils. This folder here on top, it's actually one that you can color. I splurged on that. It was $1.50. It was buy one, get one free, so I got two of them for $1.50 each. Normally $3. I got two things of glue. They were, I think, a quarter. Oh, no, those were my penny ones because I got them from Staples. These were like $0.30, cents, $0.40, cents, I think. We've got these in here, not very much. Uh, all these pencils here, these are the mechanical pencils. Fifteen, No, $0.19 cents at Walgreens. I got, oh, I think there's nine packages in there. These are left over from last year because we didn't end up using them. So that's my supply from last year. And this is other things like the dry erasers they're going to need, crayons, markers for 50 cents each. And that is so far what I have supplied for school. With three kids in school, this pile is going to actually end up getting a lot bigger and go quickly. But that's what I've got for school. So, this is my little bit of a chance of a vlog. So, y'all have a good day and 
hit those sales because sales save. Have you ever sat outside, especially on an extremely hot day, watching the road, watching people drive up and down, wondering where they're coming from, where they're going to? What's the gas mileage on their car? Hmm. I really think I need to get a life. <laughs> I have a really extremely bad black wasp problem right up underneath my deck. Ah. I better move back before I get stung. Don't really want to have to take care of this problem, but soon I'm going to have to. Especially when I get ready to move my grass here the next couple days. Yeah. Thought I'd share that with y'all. Isn't it funny how sometimes we uh, basically become prisoner of our own addictions? I mean, we have many addictions in our life. It being cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, you know, I already mentioned tobacco products, even food, you know. I was just sitting here thinking basically one thing with me. You know, I do have two, I do have quite a few addictions. And no, it's not drugs or alcohol. Or cigarettes. Uh, bottled water. You know, one can go get the water out of their tap. Be a whole bunch cheaper. Me, I insist. Well, I don't insist, but I still will go down the store and buy a case of bottled water. But yet I could go to my tap and just fill up my bottles. But yet I still have that taste in the tap water. I could get a filter, you know. Hmm. Yeah, it's addiction. I'm addicted to bottled water. Is that good or bad? What if I should go to a, a, a WWW meeting, you know, Water Anonymous. Hello, my name is Mike. I have a water drinking problem. Ah, ain't gonna work. Well, I see uh, my little problem over here. I still got to paint this. Uh, money's been very tight with my wife and I right now. Don't know why. Every time this year, things get a little tight. Oh, I do know. That's because every damn bill, like the insurance, the house insurance, car insurance, etc., etc., comes at the same freaking time. Hmm. That might be why I don't have no money. But anyway, just a thought. I just woke up from a nap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was very tired. I didn't get much sleep last night, or last couple nights, so. I decided to go in and take myself a little nap, and right now it's evening time, sun's going down. And had myself a pretty good dream. I had a dream that I um, uh, found the wasp nest and I was getting ready to go after it. And I set the tripod up and the location of the, of the nest was easy to get to. So I set the tripod up and it was evening time. I was getting ready to go after it. <laughs> Well, if I do, when I do go after it, which I have no choice, I gotta do it soon, it's gonna be of the evening time. It'll be about this time I have to go after it, and I guess the solution I'm gonna make will be soapy water. I just gotta find some way to spray the crap out of it without having to get too close to it. The soapy water will um, get on the wings and um, smother them. And plus, it's more safer for the envir environment. Just got to find something I can squirt far away. 
<laughs> um, I wonder if my kids' squirt guns will uh, work on that. Hmm. Don't know. Am I fogging up? <laughs> I don't know. My grass is starting to die. Usually does this about this time of year when we have, when we're not getting a whole bunch of rain and blistering heat. I got a little bit of a history story for you here on my property. Right here where I'm standing, about maybe a foot down, if even that far, there's probably gravel. Because right here where my house sits used to be a garage. Back about hmm, 1978, 19, no, 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 no. Yeah, about 1977 or 1978, used to be a garage here. And this used to be all gravel. And, of course, I told you about the house that used to sit there, which was the... Uh, which was the main house for the property at the time. It was torn down and this one was brought in in 78. So, whenever it gets really hot and dry with not much rain, this grass dies out quick through here. I try not to have my kids walk through here because they get straight to dirt if they do. I know last summer we had a serious dry spell, and oh my gosh, well you see my hill, go back look at some older episodes, you see my hill, but anyway I'm headed in, going to grab something to eat, and I'll probably vlog some more later. <laughs>